So today I am reviewing the Bluetti AC300 with one of the B300 batteries connected to it. Now there's a ton of videos out there about how reliable this thing is, so I won't go into too much depth on that. I think that's been exhausted by other people, but I can tell you that my experience thus far has been the same. This thing has worked flawlessly. The AC300 could run 3000 watts at 120 volts continuously, which is very impressive, and it can surge to up to 6000 watts. And that is on a pure sine wave, so it's the kind of clean power that you need to run your electronics. Now the inverter can't run by itself, which is this portion right here, without one of these B300 batteries. So you have to plug this in in order for this to operate. And because of that, this battery is very heavy, probably around 80, 85 pounds. And this is a lot lighter, probably closer to 35 or 40 pounds. So this unit has the inverter and the two MPPT charge controllers that you're gonna connect your solar panels to. Now each of these B300 batteries boast a three kilowatt or just over three kilowatt hour battery, but you can actually parallel connect up to four of these batteries for a total of 12 kilowatt hours for just this one unit. So each one of these B300s have a little over three kilowatt hours of battery storage in them. So what does that actually mean? So my full-size kitchen refrigerator, which is the double doors, big pull-out freezer drawer, your standard one you'd see in someone's kitchen, in a 24-hour period, that'll take up about 1.2 kilowatt hours of energy. So in the event of a grid-down situation, if I plugged my kitchen refrigerator into just one of these batteries, the same exact unit you see right here, it would run for about three days continuously before it would run out. That's just if you plugged it in in your kitchen and let it run continuously on this without any type of charging, no solar panels. Now, if you add solar panels to this thing, you could run your refrigerator or multiple refrigerators continuously, nonstop, 24 seven, as long as you had a little bit of sun during the day to charge it back up. Now I'll have a link in the description of this video to where you can pick this unit up. And also have a discount code in the description as well. You can get $100 off. The discount code is TexanAC300. So probably my most favorite thing about this unit is you can hook up a ton of solar panels to it. It can run up to 2,400 watts of solar panels on this thing. That blows away the competition. So this unit has six of the 120 volt standard outlets that you see right here. They're each a 20 amp max. And there's also the RV plug right here as well. Now it does say 30 amps on it, but you can't quite run a full 30 amps because this is a max of 3000 watts that you can run on this thing. I don't have my calculator on me, but I think that's about 25, 26 amps is the max you can do. It's got a 12 volt, 30 amp plug right here. It's got a 24 volt, 10 amp plug right here. It's got a USB-C that's 100 watts. And it's got two different USB-A ports right here. And even the battery can act as a standalone unit. If you just wanted to pull the battery out and use that, you can plug solar panels into the battery as well. And it has a 12 volt DC 10 amp input here. It's also got a USB-C 100 watt port there and also a USB-A 18 watt port on it as well. It's got two 15 watt wireless cell phone chargers ports right here on top of the unit. And on this side of the unit here, you've got your AC charging port that comes with a little wire here to plug right into your standard 120 volt outlet. And right here on the side of the unit is also where you would plug in your solar panels. Now the way you connect these two units together is through this giant cable that you see behind me. Very easy to put in, very heavy duty, and it takes less than 15 seconds to plug them in. Now I'll show you how easy this thing is to just set up, plug in, and turn on. So the units just stack right on top of each other. They fit together very nicely. They feel very sturdy once you put them together. And once you take it out, out of the box and set it up, you're gonna plug this cable into each one. After you plug in the cable, all you're going to do is turn on the battery button here. You'll see that light up green and it'll automatically turn on the unit above. On the LCD screen, it'll show you the state of charge. It's very simple to get these outlets all right here hot. You just hit the AC off button and it'll toggle it to on. There we go. You can plug in whatever you want now. If you want to turn on the DC input ports right here, all you do is click on the DC button right here and then DC output on, that's it. Now they're all hotted up as well. It's literally that simple to operate. And setting up and connecting this to Blue Eddy's app took me about two minutes. So it's a very simple process as well. And it's very easy to use. 
So one thing that's great about this unit is you can actually use it to lower your electric bill as well, even the 120 volt version. So you can plug in a few refrigerators into it in the shop like I have here. You can set it on the app to drain the batteries down to 20%. So you can have solar panels connected to it and it can, you can tell the system to run on battery and solar panels only until the battery gets to 20% and then just feed from the grid for a little bit. You can plug in the AC adapter here to charge from a wall outlet and it'll only run from that grid power once the batteries get to 20%. But once the sun comes back up, it'll actually bring in solar power into it. It'll automatically only use the solar power energy instead of using anything from the grid. And I can't stress enough the importance of being able to have 2,400 watts of solar panels connected to this thing. That gives you the ability to literally run loads and still have enough solar panels on this thing to charge it at the same time. And you all know on this channel, I stress the importance of having some sort of backup power or a whole home solar system like I have to run when the grid is down. This unit is a great intro, at least on a small scale, to be able to run loads continuously if the grid was down. Now this unit would be perfect for what I like to call a bug out room. That's a room in your house where let's say you lost grid power, you need to hole up in a room somewhere, somewhere small where it doesn't take a whole bunch of energy to heat or AC, you know, air condition that room. It's basically a room your whole family can go into, stay and ride out any type of electrical grid outage, but still remain comfortable. This unit is perfect for that, especially if you had at least two batteries on this thing. So if you had six kilowatt hours, you can literally go into a small bedroom in your house with this thing, plug in a window AC, plug in a ref your kitchen refrigerator, plug in some lights, internet, and be able to just ride out the storm. During the day, if you have 2000 watts of solar panels, the sun's out, you'd be able to power that room continuously on this thing and still charge the battery. Now at night, you might wanna be a little conservative on the, on the AC usage or the heater usage because that can drain your batteries pretty quickly. For instance, a window AC unit, 5,000, 6,000 BTU runs on about 400 watts. Well, if you had six kilowatt hours, that's probably around seven hours you can run that, but that's not counting the refrigerator running at night too. So I would try to be conservative on the AC, maybe run it for a couple hours in the middle or in the beginning of the evening, and then run it a few hours overnight again to, keep, to help keep the room cool. And then when the sun comes back up, it'll charge these batteries. Now to purchase this unit with just one of the B300 batteries is about $2,599 and I can get you $100 off with my discount code. And if you wanted to buy additional B300 batteries, those are about $1,599 each. Now for camping, I highly recommend you get the, uh, the Blue Eddy's portable 350 watt solar panel. That's very easy to lug around. Now, if you're using this thing for home backup power, I would say buy your permanent standard solar panels. You can ground mount on the ground because you can get those for a lot cheaper because the foldable solar panels, you're paying for that convenience and being able to take it anywhere you want on a dime's notice. I'll also have a link in the description where you can pick up that Blue Eddy 350 watt portable solar panel. Well, that's it for now, everyone. Thanks for watching and make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel as it really helps. See you in the next video.